Hey guys, we're here to take you through the setup and the pack up of your revolutionary new Air Opus camper trailer. We're gonna make your life a lot easier while you're out there creating awesome new memories in these brand new campsites. So, the first thing we're gonna do is take the two pins out of the roof cage and undo your over center latches. Your roof cage will lift up on your gas struts assisted. As we come around the back, you undo the two locking pins and you lower your spare tire down. Your two bed support bars are gonna come out and just cross over on your tire sitting there. We've still got the pins in our hands. We come around the back. The roof cage is gonna come up to 90 degrees and the pins are gonna come back through the holes just to lock the cage into position. While we're on this side of the camper trailer, we will undo all the latches at the same time. We come back around the front and we're gonna open the front bed lid first. Your bed lids interlock into each other so the front one always has to go first. Latch comes open, the bed lid just flips straight over. Easy as pie. Your little elastic strap comes down and underneath the front of the bed, then it latches down on your over centre latch at the front. Pin comes back in just to lock everything in place. Your two bed corners come over the ends of the bed and then they just cinch up underneath with your strap. Your back bed's gonna come up and over. It's always gonna make your life a lot easier if you undo the back latch first and then the front latch. Bed lid lifts up and over. This one's a bit more of a controlled descent just because there's nothing to catch it on the other side. You take your two pins out, you bring your bed arm up and you line up the hole underneath. As with anything in life, this is actually the hardest part you're gonna work setting up your trailer. This piece of elastic comes underneath and loops onto the toggle. Again, your two bed corners come over and you just cinch the strap up underneath. We're gonna do up this elastic strap around this side and we're gonna do up our five air valves. Don't try and remember where the air valves are, just count them off, there's five. So, one, Two. We're not looking for super tight. We're looking for just until it's firm and then maybe a quarter of a turn beyond that. This is number three. Four is under here. and five. Another really good tip is to run your finger around the outside and just make sure that there's nothing impeding that seal and make sure that your retaining ring is sitting nice and flat. That's this side of the camper done apart from your elastic strap again around your hook. Back around the front of the camper trailer and we're gonna remove the annex from inside the camper trailer. The annex is all nice and neatly folded here. You don't have to try and pull it all out in one bit. Just grab anywhere on the annex and start folding it out bit by bit as you go. Just remember guys, it's not a race. You're out there, you're with your family, you're relaxing, you're having a great time. This is what makes this camper trailer so beautiful. These end bits, if you grab it by your strap, are gonna come around. Look for the colour change. The colour change is going to be your key indicator as to which bits go around the back side of the camper trailer. This end here is exactly the same. It's going to come around. This one we're going to clip up to the end of the bed. Grab your legs, splay them out across the ground just to make your life easier to find it. Now, your annex has seven air valves to count off. Again, not gonna be so important where they are, it's just a matter of counting them off. 
There's one on the back side of this pole here. There's two on each of the front legs. The tricky one that everyone misses on the center leg and then the back pole on the other side again too. Again, guys, just run your finger around the outside of the air ring, retaining ring, and make sure that everything's nice and flat. So we're up to three. This one here is the one that everyone trips up on the new one. It's on the back side of the pole in here. Make sure you find this one. Four. Five. Six. And seven. What we do after this is we're gonna drag that last bit of the annex out. So what you're looking for is your Velcro line where the annex attaches to your main tent. Get that Velcro line, pull it back, and just sit it nicely on the edge of the camper. That will sit there nice and neatly. Now, you will see at the end of this video, we have a slightly different pack-up procedure, which means there's one more step that we have to do. Inside here is one of your isolator valves with the line coming out of the main tent. We just need to ensure that that isolator is open so that your annex and main tent fill at the same time. After that, we open our main control panel. We put in the red key and turn it on if it's not already. Hit your arming switch and turn the pump on. Close up your control panel just to ensure nothing gets bent or damaged. If you feel you have the required amount of beverages to last you eight minutes, clip up this end. Sit down, relax, and enjoy your brand new camper trailer inflating. Okay guys, as you see the annex trying to lift itself off the ground, stop playing with the kids. You can do this with one hand so you can keep your beverage in place. Just give the annex the shape that you're looking for. Set your legs up. You are done. Enjoy camping guys. Have a great time.